How's it going everybody? It's Frisbee Moonsong here. Yow! And today what we're going to be talking about, as you can see here, we're going to be talking about the Albaz Structure Deck, which we have for ourselves here, which is really, really exciting. And we obviously have giveaways for you today. But for today's video, I'm sure by now you guys have seen the Albaz Structure Deck on your screen, uh, or screens, should I say. Yes, maybe even on your screens, or even even at home, uh, in the shops or in the stores near you, these are everywhere already, and it's already, it's already just gone like wildfire all over, topping tournaments everywhere. So this, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to, and it has some really awesome staples in. Now, noteworthy staples in here are things like Ghost Ogre, Artifact Scythe, uh, Part of Extravagance. And there's many, many more that you guys can see on the list. And I do recommend for if you're a new player, do get three Albert Structure decks. It will really help you in the current format. It is really good for you new players to get a hold of. So I do highly recommend this one. But what we're going to be talking about today is we are talking about a little bit of the, f of the decks that this Structure Deck can actually support and what you can play this in. So moving forward for the first deck, we immediately right at the beginning we have Tribigrades which was obviously one of the first um, few printed if you remember in Phantom Rage this was very uh, very exciting when this came out and Fractal being really strong but now you can mix Albaz with Tribrigade because of the Tribrigade being so prominent and there also being a Tribrigade card in it there is a law that intertwines Tribrigade with Albaz so it's really really exciting to see and it's a really good deck that actually did really well um, in the recent tournaments lately we've seen it topping a couple of tournaments so this is a deck you can actually really look into building especially since Tribrigade aren't that too hectic to get I believe now I mean yes there's still ultras and stuff like that but I think the fractal is going to be the most difficult one to get but you should be able to pick up the deck uh, relatively simply considering how many people have dropped the deck however with the fallen of Albaz stuff it pushes this deck to new heights so I do recommend uh, finding a merge between these two also the next deck that the fallen of Albaz supports we will be talking about is Despia now we already knew from the beginning that Despia was part of the branded strategy and a lot of the Albaz stuff falls into the Brandon strategy, so that way the Despia and the Albaz stuff really, already do intertwine really, really nicely. And at the moment, it is really strong. Now, obviously, we have some support from Fluffles as well, um, which work with the uh, the Fright for a Patchwork, which adds you the polymerization and the Edge M Sabers. That's what people are playing in the current Despia build. But this is a deck you can build, and it's really, really strong, very, very consistent and something to really look out for at your local scene. Yes, you might have to pick up a lot of the branded cards all the way from Dawn of Majesty. Um, if you look in my previous video of my Dawn of Majesty box opening, you can see a couple of things I get from there, but you'll be able to get the Despia stuff from there and you can build some decks from that. So this is really good uh, for that deck list. Another deck that can work really well is Invoked, considering it is a fusion deck. Invoked has really good potential with this deck uh, invoked with the Albaz stuff has the capability to make some really really insane boards and also invocation is another uh, polymerization on its own so it's a really good deck to make and also the fact that you don't usually need your normal summon for this deck um, makes it really really capable of actually working hand in hand with things like Macabre and stuff being a really strong force in the deck obviously you needing more lights it can really uh, put up quite a mass of fusion monsters in the deck this is really big like fusions support and it's got quite a lot of hand traps that can help support it so this is also really something good to actually work on so yes if you for those of you who managed to pick up the invoked um strategy uh get your albaz decks as well but even you can play this as a pure deck um, it can work really well there are a couple of cards you may need but you can uh b buy three structure decks and build it however you want and see what awesome fusion strategies you can come up with but it is a really good deck to get just in general now the last strategy we're going to be talking about and this one is not revealed yet but this is one that we personally on the channel are going to give a try 
try. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys, or some of you guys might want to pick it up, but I know I definitely will. And the final strategy of the Elbaz deck that we are going to try is tier elements. Now, we've heard of tier elements coming out in the TCG in Power of the Elements, uh, which is a really strong water fusion deck. Also has Dark Fusion Monsters, uh, which is really cool, which work really, really well with the Elbaz strategy, and both of them can work hand in hand. Obviously, it just makes it a little more consistent. Uh, the tier elements are usually good for working on their own, but it can incorporate a little bit of the Shadow Monsters, which makes it a little more powerful, but you can build in the Elbaz strategy. The nice thing is Elbaz um, helps a lot of fusion decks, which is really, really cool, and it's another fusion strategy that you can kind of throw into anything, with Brandon Fusion being such an insane card. But yes, these are the three decks you guys can look into for building the Elbaz. I mean, if you want, you can throw in Sprig or whatever depending on how you want to board it it just is part of the same law and it's like it's exciting to see the law of the tri brigade the spriggans um at this point uh with the with the despiers and sword soul and Elbaz or into one with ecclesia really really exciting you can even throw in the dogmatica depending on how you want to board it because it does have a lot of synergy with dogmatica so these are some of the decks that just work really really well and some you can look into and i think these will really help you with building up and boosting the power of your Albaz structure deck. So go go ahead and look for these cards because these will be really, really useful. But for you guys, you know, we got quite a number of these. So we are going to be giving away quite a couple. So let's see here. We have enough. So we are going to be giving away, yes, 10. 10 Albaz structure decks we are going to be giving away, but we are going to be giving two to each person. So that means five of you will get a chance to win two Albaz structure decks, which is really, really exciting. That means all you need to do is buy just one. So all you need to do is go to your local store, buy the third one, and you can try win the two from here. So good luck to you guys, and thank you also to Solo Pop and Unplug Yourself for sponsoring us with this awesome product to give to you guys so here we go all you guys need to do is comment which of the strategies are you going to use with your Elbaz deck that you get right you just got to comment that in the comment section down below and you stand a chance to win the Elbaz structure deck and hey maybe you've thought of stuff i haven't put on the video but for me frisbee moonsong i'll see you guys in the next video and i look forward to seeing who wins these awesome prizes but coming up soon we have the new main core booster set coming your way so keep an eyes out on the video and also don't forget about the skits we've got skits coming out so don't forget about the skits coming out for you guys uh don't forget to send in your skits because the deadline for these skits is at the end of this month end of may that is the deadline for the skits that's where we cut them off and we'll give the final prizes obviously you remember the winner gets a megaton a cyber strike structure deck which, which we still have we still have a maximum gold el dorado which will go into the first place prize and second place will get one maximum gold el dorado so please send in your your, your videos we've already got three entries so far and it's looking really really good really really exciting so please send in your entries put send them to me on facebook send them to me through my email address which is here in the description down below and we will get you entered into the skit competition and you could be part of the next video so for me frisbee moonsong i'll see you guys in the next video cheers guys Yow!